Assalamu alaikum. My name is Anis Ahmed. I read in class 9B e from Avicenna Model School and College Darge. And today our topic is Newton's second law of motion. This law states that This means that if we apply force on a body, any body, it will produce an acceleration in that body and that acceleration has to be d directly proportional to the force that we applied and it will be inversely proportional to the object's mass. For example, if I lift a book here, I applied a force on it which made it, which made it lift and it produced some acceleration in this body and that acceleration was directly proportional to the force that I applied but inversely proportional to the book's mass. For example, if I try to apply force on this wall, it will not move because the acceleration will be inversely proportional to its mass and its mass is too high for me to move it. Now we have to write its mathematical form. We know that the, the acceleration is directly proportional to the force that we applied and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. So we will name this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. As these both equations are for acceleration, we can combine them both and write it like this. Acceleration is directly proportional to force and inversely proportional to the object's mass. It will give us acceleration like this. Now, if we want to end this constant of proportionality, we will have to put equality sign and the constant and write the rest of the equation the same. Now here the constant will be k and the, here the k's value will be 1. So it will give us acceleration is equal to f over m. So now if we will try to find force on it. So we will multiply m both sides to both sides. So f will be given to us as ma. Now this is the mathematical form of Newton's second law. f is equal to ma. Now we have to uh, show this mathematically proved equation through a diagram. So, so if there is an object having a mass m so if we apply force on it, it this is f so it will produce some acceleration in that body so we have to check the relationship of the, uh, this acceleration with the mass of this body and with the force applied so with the force applied the acceleration has a direct relation meaning if the force is increased there will be increase in acceleration but with the mass, there is inverse inverse uh, relation on of acceleration. If the mass is increased, then the acceleration will decrease. So if we uh, combine both of these equations, because they are both for acceleration, so we get acceleration is directly proportional to force and inversely proportional to its the body's mass. We have to remove this constant of proportionality, so we will put a constant and the equality sign, and the rest of the equation will be the same. Here the constant is k and the value of k is 1. So 1 multiplied with anything will result in the uh, same number. So you will get acceleration is directly uh, is equal to force divided by m. We want to find force now. So you will uh, multiply m with both sides. So this m and this one m will cancel each other out and we will get force is equal to ma mass multiplied by acceleration. Thank you and thanks for to Sir S. N. Akbal for giving me the opportunity to present here today.